It's the end of October 2023 and the second generation 4K and 4K Max of the Fire TV sticks were released a little over a month ago in the United States. And as I reported before, there were quite a few problems with them which would prevent me from buying them. So a month on, we're going to look at what's been fixed and what hasn't. All the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, the Fire TV Stick second generation 4K and 4K Max were released in America on the 27th of September 2023. They were later released in the UK on the 19th of October 2023 and in many other countries around the world on various dates. And as I reported before, there were huge problems with them, problems that you would find if you've got certain apps loaded on there not working properly. Um, I reported that icons weren't coming up correctly. So this video is going to look a month on since it was initially released in the States. What have they fixed and what haven't they fixed? And would I consider buying one now? So let's just go through what's new on these sticks. So the 4K stick that has got Fire OS 8, which is based on Android 11. That's an upgrade from Fire OS 6, which was on the first gen of sticks. The processor has been slightly updated from an ARM Cortex A53 processor to an A55 processor, but still running at the same speed, 1.7 gigahertz. There's a slightly better GPU in there. They've actually matched the GPU of the 4K Max, which gives you AV1 support in there. The RAM has also been increased from 1.5 gigabytes to 2 gigabytes. The storage on the 4K has remained the same at 8 gigabytes. The Bluetooth, though, has got an upgrade from version 5 to version 5.2, and the Wi Fi has been upgraded to Wi Fi 6, so better Wi Fi coverage. But really, the better of the sticks is the second generation 4K Max, which also runs Fire OS 8. The processor has, a, has a, had an upgrade from a 1.8 gigahertz quad quad core processor to a two gigahertz quad core processor. The GPU, that's the graphical processing unit, is the same as the first gen 4K Max. So is the RAM, that's still stuck at two gigabytes. Bluetooth has been upgraded from version five to version 5.2. And the Wi-Fi has been upgraded from Wi-Fi 6 to Wi-Fi 6E. No great biggie there really. But the biggest thing with the 4K Max that everybody's wanted for ages is a storage upgrade. The storage has been upgraded from eight gigabytes, been doubled to 16 gigabytes. So that is a massive advantage for a lot of people. But the main drawback with both of these sticks is basically Fire OS 8, because there was a lot of bugs with Fire OS 8 when it first came out. A lot of things aren't compatible with Fire OS 8 or weren't compatible with it. So let's just have a look. So I reported originally there was a problem with uh, some side loaded apps. The icons had a broken symbol in them or wasn't appearing correctly. That was quite quickly fixed. That was fixed, I think, within about a week, a week and a half by Amazon in an update. There was also a problem with storage permissions. Now, this is the problem is because of the way Android 11 works, which is what Fire OS is based on, Android changed the way that permissions were granted and there was an extra permission. This didn't get transported over to Fire OS 8, which meant that some programs struggled to work properly because they couldn't get the right permissions. Things like even Kodi and Explore and Total Commander, some of the file managers, other file managers had problems. But I've been told this has now been fixed just in the last few days. This video is being recorded on the 29th of October 2023 and these fixes were put in place. So if you haven't got them already, then 
have a look, just go into an app in uh, Manage Installed Applications and have a look in the uh, storage section and see if you've got the all files option, allow management of all files. If you haven't, then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to upgrade your Fire TV stick and make sure that the software is up to date. So to do that, just go to settings, go to my Fire TV and then go into about and then down to check for updates, middle button on the remote control and check for updates. If it doesn't say there's any new updates, then perhaps try restarting your Fire Stick by pressing and holding the play pause button and the middle button on the remote control until it says your device is shutting down. Let it shut down and then go back into those settings again. So it's it's into settings, then My Fire TV, then about and then down to check for updates and check again. If there's still no updates for you and that option isn't there, then just keep trying daily. Hopefully that option will appear. Sometimes you do find that Amazon will roll these add-ons or these updates out to everyone at the same time, but sometimes they'll roll it out to a small batch of people just for testing purposes, see if they get any bad feedback. And then if they don't, they roll it out to a few more people. So hopefully if you haven't got it already, it'll be coming to you very, very shortly. So that's two things that they're fixed, but there's another two things that they haven't. And whilst this one isn't a particular problem, it's just more of a bug really for me, a bugbear. The When you press and hold the home button on the remote control, you used to get the apps icon come up on the screen, but that has been replaced on the 4K Max second generation with the ambient experience icon which to be quite honest with you, I don't know. I'm not really that happy about that being there. I'd prefer the apps button to be there. And I'm not sure this is something that uh, Amazon are likely to change, unfortunately, not in the near future because they really want to show off the ambient experience feature. The second thing is mouse toggle. That doesn't work because it's not compatible with Fire OS 8, unfortunately it can't work with it. And it seems to be that the developer of Mouse Toggle, I don't think has updated the app for many, many years. So I don't know what's happened to them. I don't know if they're still around, if they've retired or, or what. So hopefully at some point, the developer will update this or somebody will take over the project and update it or bring out an alternative but for now, I've got a few ideas of how I would get around it. And uh, there's a video for that as well. There's also a video which shows you how to get around the ambient experience icon, so-called issue as well. I'll put links to those in the bottom, in the description in the bottom of this video. So if you want to go and have a look through those videos to see the fixes that I've got for you there, then uh, please feel free to have a look in the description down below. So if you've still got any other problems with the Fire TV Stick 4K or 4K Max second generation, then please post it in the comments down below. Let us know of any other issues that have bugged you with these new sticks. Now, would I buy one now? Well, Yes, I would, but not right now. I would wait until nearer Black Friday, which is the last Friday of the month in November. So not long to wait because hopefully Amazon will reduce the cost of both sticks. And what stick would I go for? Would I go for the 4K or would I go for the 4K Max? Without a doubt, I would go for the 4K Max simply because of its extra storage. That is the biggest puller. It's got, like I say, it's got a slightly better processor. It's running at uh, 2 gigahertz rather than 1.7 that the 4K is running at. But I would wait until Black Friday. So there you go. I hope you like this video. And if it helped you and you did like it, then consider hitting that thanks button and donating to this channel. Or if you're in the market for a new Fire TV stick, a Fire TV Cube, Fire Stick accessories, 
or you're looking for a, a VPN or switching to a new VPN, then please consider using the links down below in the description of this video. As donating or using those links really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time into researching and bringing you these videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money.